Good. Um, all right, guys, welcome back. I th- you know what? Not the podcast. I'm gonna start. <laughs> I'm gonna start something else. Welcome back to the perspective show. Oh, oh the fancy. perspective show. <laughs> we post videos every week. Our mission is to inspire people, motivate them, give them a new way of seeing life. Today we have on Chris, Kendall, and Brandon. Thank you guys for coming. What, right now, if it was just you, would you be in college and why? Like if I didn't have a family? Like, yeah, if it was up to you. Like you had the choice. Well, it depends. I mean, it depends on the circumstances and everything. Because, like, I'm fortunate enough where I am able to, you know, afford coming to college right now. And I probably sound like an asshole saying, like, I'm in college and it's, like, I'm very wishy-washy with it. Because, like, I, my view is, like, I can achieve whatever with or without a degree. Yeah. Yeah, I think it all depends on what you want to do. Like, I told you my dream was to teach and to travel. I well, love like, that. Thank you. I can't teach without a teaching license. So for me, yeah. it's like uh, college is it. like yeah. a requirement. But it. like based off your goals, it all depends on like what's the best path for you. Everybody's different. I don't think – I don't like the consensus where like everybody has to go to college. Like I don't agree you with know that. that. You know what you just said with uh, student loans mm-hmm. and like then people getting out of college and having to like work to pay it back? Mm-hmm. I was on a, a live with my, uh, with my man, Alex Astville, and he said – Seventy two percent of people live paycheck to paycheck. I and can take an unexpected five hundred dollar charge. And eighty five percent of people that work at a company are disengaged. Do you, Interesting. That's like that's that's very sad. high. It's like scary. That is sad. I, like I feel uh, nowadays, um, if you're in a financially like unstable state as someone under the age of thirty. There is no excuse not to make money, like a certain, like a, a, not money <laughs> like that you want to make, like ten a million dollars. I feel like there's today there's no excuses. It, there is a way. I was in the Uber with uh, my my girlfriend today, and I saw it said entrepreneur and investor. I was like, so uh, you're an entrepreneur and investor. What do you invest in? Are you into stocks? He's like, no, I do forex. I quit my job to do Uber full time. I'm a forex trader, and I teach people. Um, had a box, and I teach people how to make money. He makes twenty grand a month. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's that's probably insane. working not as many hours as a full time. That's literally, job. Yeah. That's literally yeah. just like what you said. Yeah. You said what you give out, you get back. What you look for, what you focus your energy on, is exactly. what comes to that's you. If you want to make a million dollars, do whatever it takes to do that. You know, yeah, work three three jobs. If Dude. you're not going to college, instead of paying for college, work three jobs. Mm-hmm. Figure out how you can make a side hustle. Take that money oh, that yeah. you're making from the jobs, but. Do like the 80 or like a six, what is it, 50, 40, 10 rule. 50% into needs, 40% yep. into want, um, 40% into wants, 10% into investing. Why don't they teach that, that at 40%. school is my question. Like, I feel like they should have they don't teach you the life about. skills. I, like. I feel like they should have specifically a class that is for investments, how to calculate like your checkbook or whatever. We had a finance sheet. class yeah. in high school. People, is that, some people like don't know how to write a check yeah. like that. But like, but still, I feel like it was, like it was just kind of like a one semester optional class thrown at you senior year. But then we spend four years in high school. I don't want to say useless information, but information that in the long run is not that. like. Bro. Depends on your major. Honestly. No, yeah, like yeah. I think it's important to have like general education requirements. Yeah. But like, there's other stuff that definitely could have been switched out to make like. I feel like finances should be something that's taught and like reminded every year of high school. I think there's definitely a lot of parts in the educational system industry in the whole that are broken, like general education, mm-hmm. like coming to high school and I college. Agree with that. I feel that um, you know they shouldn't just throw out all your general ed's first year of uh, college because first off, that's if you if you're here and you have no scholarships or student loans, that's sixty grand down the drain. All right, yeah. and you don't yeah. even take the <laughs> classes that you want to take. Yeah. yeah, I think that they should throw. All these different options, and you feel it out yourself. Yeah, you figure out what you want to do, and you pay for what you chose to learn. Yes, where's the excuse? Yeah, you chose you wanted to take that class. Don't put the blame on anyone but yourself. That'll drive you even more. You know, make the kind of money you want. You know, get to where you want to be. And I feel like that will decrease the amount of years it takes to get to where you want to be as your goal, like what your goal is. I I I agree with that. I love that. I think the education system's broken, though. Yeah. Well, even if you look in like places like Europe. 
for example, like their colleges do it way different Dude, than what Europe's we do. Europe's whole lifestyle yeah. and they is and it's insane. and it's more successful. Like the people there are way more driven and more ambitious. And not only that, but they get to the, the point that they need to get to in their life way quicker. I mean, it takes yeah. it takes four years at most there to get yeah. a master's degree. Like you you can do it in three. That's a, I feel like we prolong the process. Like mm. I want to get my information, whatever I need to. I want to get it and I want it to be done. And then apply it. Not keep on learning. Learn it, apply it, rework it, do it again, and then go back. Learn. Do it. Exactly. If they just gave people like the option to, if they know exactly what they want to do, and they gave people, first off, it would boost the economy because these people are going to create companies, create jobs, mm-hmm. create things that would be you know ten times better. I'm trying to think of, uh, you know, let's just say, I'm trying to you know start a company and I want to go to college. And they're making me take general eds, and I'm taking my time away from my company to, you know, put towards classes that I'm not even gonna, I'm not even like <clears throat> focusing, and I have to get good grades. Yeah, I'm putting st- all my money towards college, and nothing's going on. That company could be a trillion dollar company, and no one knows. That's just delaying, yeah. delaying, delaying. You know, putting your time and effort towards things that could absolutely like boost the economy, create jobs. It's just I, I, I don't get how the government sets up things. I'm at the point where I, I personally, when I get older, I want to like make a university, and Elon Musk and created a school. Yeah, <laughs> dude. He's like, the education system is broken. I made a school for Bro. my kids. Yeah. <laughs> I feel, and he said, "There's no grades. Dude. They learn what they want to do. That's literally what he did. Yeah. He's like, there's no grades in the school. They all learn what they want to do at the same pace. Yeah. And when they get to a point where they know exactly what they want to do, they go off in separate directions." Yep. This kid's going to be a billionaire. I already know. Like, I, 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 I yeah. literally <laughs> feel like people, you know, like horses when they when they ride, like they have the blinders. I feel like people have blinders on. Mm-hmm. And they're following what the government and, and don't, schools are telling them. Like, yeah. just, just look. If you, if you looked and you were like, this goes back to awareness, and you were aware, your mind would be like, whoa, the amount of things hitting you. I was taking, you know, um, and this is just my perspective. Like, I'm not trying to offend anything. Mm-hmm. I was taking science, Spanish, um, English. It was college writing. And I have absolutely I no that. interest in it. I, hate that. I have oh, no man. interest in that. Yeah. And I was just going through the, co- the year. I was like, all right, like, I have to do this assignment. I'm just like, I don't want to do this. Like, I know I don't want to. If you don't like something, they should have the option to you know, switch into a different class. They make certain deadlines, like, literally four days after the class starts, you can cut without a W. I hate that they do that. Yeah. I hate it. You should also be able to test out of some stuff. It's like, like, I remember, like... Days, I learned nothing in two yeah, days. It's, yeah. like, <laughs> it's, like, ridiculous. Like, for stuff, like, okay, like... Uh, so, I have to take two math classes. Mm-hmm. Um, my success coach got confused. I told Chris yeah, this. So, like, yeah. I <sighs> took APs uh, my junior and senior year. I have an AP stat credit. I got a five on the exam. I told her that. I transferred in my credits to my transcript. She got confused and made me take math, which really? I tested wow. into calculus. Then she tells me, class. yeah. Then she tells me that I need yet another math credit. So I'm taking another math. And I was like, math is my good subject. Like, why can I just test out of that? Because now I'm at the point where, like, I'm one credit behind where, like, I actually can't fit my minor because she made me take math. She should be, like, switch. So like, it's like, I, got the, I, did I don't good. like grades. To ju- yeah. like, no, I don't being honest, I don't like grades. I definitely find, I guess, like, it sounds bad, but sometimes I find the validation in the grades and, like, the college. Like, I feel like through life there's these boxes. Like, I was talking about with my sweetmate last night how many colleges I applied to just for the sole validation of getting in. It's a state I knew I didn't even want to, like, live in. But it's like, and then grades, like, well, if I have a 4.0 and I'm maintaining that, like, I'm on the right path. It makes me feel accomplished. But everybody says C's get degrees. Like, either way, I got my teaching license. So why do I find so much, like, and not just me, other people, too, mm-hmm. so much validation in, like, oh, my 4.0 or, oh, I'm taking these classes, like, rather than focusing on my career. And I find myself, like, getting caught in that because you feel like there's this path, like you were talking about, like, the straight yeah. vision, this path. Mm-hmm. You feel like you have to follow. Like, you go to high school, you get good grades. You go to college, you get good grades. You get a career, you make money. But it's not so straightforward. Everyone has a different path. Good grades mean different things to different people. Like, good grades doesn't mean you're successful. It just means you're following this path. There should be someone at every college who, you know, is focused on your, like, life. Like, what your yeah. passion, an individual. individual, not in general. Yeah. And, you know, like, I was on a call with, I was networking on Lincoln, and I keep calling these people that work at different companies, and he's like, I'm three years into this. No one cares about my GPA. 
They only care about what oh, college yeah. I went to. Oh, it doesn't oh, even it, when you apply to a job, you mm. show them your degree. Like you show them, I graduated from High Point University. I'll have a master's in education. That's all they know. They yeah. won't see, oh, I got a four pin this semester. Or I got a three point seven this semester. They won't see the list of gen eds I took. None of that matters. At the end of the day, it's the degree. I guarantee they don't care. I don't. About class. No, yeah. nobody do cares. Know, nobody do, cares. Do any of you know who Jesse Isler is? No, I do. Mm-mm. You gotta look him up. He, he's amazing, and he, he, he's the one with the, a bus story. So he basically talks about from the moment that you are born to the moment that you die, and he doesn't believe in resumes. With degrees, mm-hmm. he believes in life experiences as your resume. What did you do? How many things did you do? What did you fail at? What did you succeed at? What did you manifest? Mm-hmm. And I fully believe in that. And when I had the chance, gratefully, to get in front of people that have been doing great things for the world and have amassed mm-hmm. amazing amounts of success and wealth, I was talking to them about college. And they're like, they didn't even ask. They asked me what my major was. Not a single thing else. Mm-hmm. What classes I'm taking or whatever. They, and I go, yeah, so uh, did you go to college? Yeah, I went to college. Didn't say anything about it. And then they go, I go, what advice would you have? Just anything. And they go, go through college if you're going to go through it. But just get out. Do the work. Get out. And then start your life. Yeah. And I'm like. Hearing that from someone, like, yeah. that's pound. I guess that, you know, like, the government or, like, people see that. Some people are okay with making $20,000 a year, and they're okay with that. Some people are okay with making a million dollars a year. Some people just want to do what they want to do, like, I'm trying to think. Some people want to work at McDonald's. Some people want to do real estate and become a billionaire like Grant Cardone. It depends on, I th- feel like, I don't, I don't know the exact numbers, but how, what are the numbers for what people want to do because I guess they just see it in general like it's so hard to explain dude yeah. that man he didn't go to college did he? he no he he went to college but he did drugs he was okay. alcohol in the wrong mm-hmm. crowd he hated college because he didn't know what college was for what he was there for but when he got out he was deteriorating he he literally almost died from drugs then when you know when people say I'm a alcoholic or drugs and their parents or family like kicked them out like say you're no longer family basically happened to him some guy came to his house and like glock so you, he has a scar and stuff but he turned his life around and now dude like i highly respect him he's making a monopoly he's like playing the game monopoly in real life <laughs> like true. it's dude it's scary it's because cool. i follow him and i see what he's posting people don't see it like yeah. it, he he beat he just bought a apartment complex for i think four thousand units something like that mm. like a big one yeah he beat the largest financial financial institution in the world oh i was at buying that. It was him against the largest financial institution, and he won. He bought that property. That's, like, insane. Yeah. yeah. Big booty. Yeah. I, I, It's been cool. I've just kind of been taking in everything that y'all have been saying. And something that I've kind of, like, been hearing a lot, too, is just, like, I think we, we all, like, want to change, but we all don't believe we can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When, really, I feel like it's so much easier easier than you think like i think it's just like you get comfortable with the way that you think and the way that you act yeah it's just so much easier you could change one like specific part of your mentality or something like that and you can uh i mean you could shift your whole life you can change the question you ask yeah like i I believe business is is 80 percent psychology like yeah if you just 100%. have a great mindset and a great like <clears throat> have a good story mind about you then you you're gonna I go do farther i love stories you guys hear a story so hear this. my mom was telling me there's this kid doing terrible in school his mom was just pushing him like get good grades or you're not gonna get anywhere in life he goes you know what i'm just gonna take the sat takes the sat it's terrible it's like an 800 mm-hmm. like, this is terrible whatever like this i'm so bad at everything and his mom was like listen give you a thousand dollars if you try study do the best you can if you get over a thousand 
he gets like a, a 1550 on the SAT. And he's like, wait a second. Now if I just study, I can get all these good grades and I can get to where I want to be in life. So he's, yeah. get, he's acing everything. <laughs> he's doing all this stuff. He got into a great college, yeah. acing everything. He, he, st- he, went to, he asked, actually went to Nassau um, Community College because he couldn't get anywhere because this is last year of college. I mean, last year of high school. And he's doing so well. He transferred to like Fordham, acing everything, started a business. He's a multimillionaire. Ten years later, the SAT co- company oh, contacted shit. him and goes, you really got an 800 on the SAT. You didn't get a 1550. You really didn't do well at all. And he's like, mindset is everything. If yeah. you just know you can do something, you think you can oh, do yeah. something, you can achieve it. So he really did not get that 1550. That's fat. Whoa. <laughs> That's a real story, by the way. I, I, that I heard crazy. that from someone. I have to find out his name. Well, it's funny you say that, too, because, like, like – just to relate to it a bit, I remember when I got to college, I didn't understand the whole concept of, like, standards or whatever, like, those those goals that you set until I got here. Because in high school, I would always tell myself the casual excuse of, like, if I try my best, whatever grade I get is whatever I get. And I would do that not, not only in my academics, but everything else. But let me tell you, if I got a freaking D on one oh of my, my tests, God, I, would, I would make so sure I get that thing up. Once I hit an 80%, I'd be like, I would say that excuse. So when I got here, I was like, screw it. I'm an A student right now. I'm going to be an A student. 90% and above, that's what I'm going to do. And I haven't gotten anything below that since I've been here. I've just oh. said to myself, that's where I'm at. That's who I am. And I've gotten there. So it really is, like you said, it's just like, if you really believe you can do it, you can do it. It's not It's not rocket science. I feel like so it's many not. people think like... This school is not hard at all. Like, oh, d- I, dude, first off, you can, thank you for saying that, Brandon. Please, please, this is not a hard please school. Please cut this. Everyone, 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 everyone. If you literally, yeah, it's like if you can just use your resources and, and occasionally yeah. raise your hand, you should not fail a class. You should not even. I you shouldn't get under an 85. Dude, dude yeah. our professor it is. It people who fail. It really does. You I'm like, how? Try it's because you don't care. How, bro. Dude, how, how do you fail? Yeah. Here. I'm cutting this out, but... <laughs> I think they all know, too, like, hey, if my students all get ace, they're not going to complain. Yeah, they're not gonna yeah. Get mad at if anything, they'll help me out. Yeah, well, exactly. No, it <laughs> looks good. It looks so good on the teacher because teachers get evaluations and teacher, stuff. Everyone gets an A, and they'll be like, how is that? I just teach really well. Like, exactly. Like, we, like, teach. learned about this because I'm taking an EDU class <laughs> this semester that, like, teachers want students to well, not just because they want students to do well, but they get evaluated. So, like, a lot of public schools, and for some colleges, it affects, like, your pay. So, like, um, that's why they're standardized tests. That's not about the kids. Like, you know how it's standardized tests in elementary school? It doesn't reflect the kids. It reflects the teacher. So, wow. if, like, one class is, like, particularly doing really poor, like, say Zach and I are both teachers at school, and, like, his kids test really well. Like, he's a third-grade teacher. I'm a third-grade teacher. And my kids are struggling. The kids don't get penalized. That's why you go to recess when you're done. Yeah. It's an evaluation on the teacher, and then, like, Oh, they might see, well, Zach's kids are doing really well. Let me give you tenure, which means you can't really get fired unless you break the law and your pay goes up. So it's just like teachers, some of them get Kinda wrapped fucked up, actually. Yeah, some teachers get wrapped up in the fact that they want you to do well for their benefit rather than just to see you succeed. Yeah. Because their pay increases the based off how their students do. You yeah. get evaluated. Do you guys think uh, college should be free? Oh Have yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah. Do you think well, like, okay, I would hear like, all y'all? Like okay, this, like maybe not Okay, maybe not free, maybe not free, but it's a what bit you, for overpriced. What do you guys think? Uh, I do not personally I do not feel it should be free because the amount of money it would cost, it would raise the taxes. So when oh, yeah. you try and get a job after college, you're gonna be paying over sixty percent of taxes. Like, do you mean you like, like a per, do you mean like in a perfect world or do you mean like realistically? Realistically, I meant like because the oh. government has looked into it. I like, thought you meant like you in know, a perfect the world of debt and everything that's going on. Oh, yeah. already, already, how high the taxes are now, and we still can't cover, and the U.S. is running out of money. I feel like. Let me ask you this. No, I. If agree you were to get into college and it, and it would be free, would you f- mess around most of the time, or would you actually put in the effort versus if you I, paid fifty see, grand? That's what I thought of too. You know, I no, feel like it, it shouldn't. People who I buy agree. a I'm course or years. go to an event and they have to pay, because you paid, you now have a commitment to yourself to Facts. do good. Yeah. No, like, definitely to... college shouldn't be free, but I do think it's overpriced, and I think because of okay, some yeah, of the yeah, prices that, of college, yeah. like, for people who aren't in that financially, you know, stable home, they can't, like, afford college, like, yeah. um, just because of how overpriced it is. Like, I think that there should be a medium, I guess. Like, I, I, agree I think that. if it was free, I think I would bullshit my way through college. Wow. But and, I think yeah. it, the fact that I, like, have this 
fifty thousand dollar weight relying on yeah, it, being here. It, it just keeps me in check when I feel like I'm falling behind. Harvard is uh, has fifty billion dollars in <laughs> um, investments. <laughs> so <laughs> listen, and Harvard is like seventy grand a year, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I feel like uh, colleges that you know have so much profits. I feel like the amount of profit should reflect on, there should be like a calculation where now I can reduce the price because we have so much money left over. Let's get it to just like a little bit of profit because yeah. we don't need, after all the expenses, even after all the money, like things that would like help the school build get better. Like if, all, if there's still a profit after that, there should be no reason to keep that, the yeah. tuition at that high. I agree with you on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It should be a medium price. No, it's definitely like they know that people will pay. Like tuition will go up. Like even at high sure. point, the tuition we agreed to pay our freshman yeah. year it's gonna go up. It's is significant. Like it's like a least. decent amount lower than how much we paid this year, and it's because well now they see x amount of kids. How many kids do we have in our year? Like two thousand, a thousand, whatever. They see okay, these yeah. are thousand kids are willing to pay. Not including the, so are the like next. Yes. Crazy. So then they yeah. just keep increasing it, like, um, and it's it stinks because then you have kids who are uh-huh. like, well, fifty thousand is all I can afford. Well, that's too damn bad. Next year it's sixty. Yeah. I, so I, like. Yeah. It's hard, but, like, they see that people are willing to pay, so they keep increasing the yeah. price. Do you think, because I thought this last year, do you think High Point accepts people more because of their financial background? Because I think they, they think if you have, like, the money to pay for college, like, they will, they, I think they will prioritize that, that to get the student in, yeah, yeah. than the actual yeah, yeah. grades. If you, if you have, if you donate a certain amount of money to the school, they prioritize you, get, you over everyone. That is, yeah, that is true. It's true. And yeah. there's different tiers of that. If you get the highest tier, you literally get whatever you want. Dude, yeah. Yeah. I know kids. I've heard of kids who it's a business who pay. No, college is a business. It is a business. It's it's a business. College is the business. highest like, amount. They they'll get business. caught like drinking and shit. Oh. Why, why, why would they kick him out? Gone. They're paying fifty grand a year extra. <laughs> yeah. I'm not yeah. kicking them out. Here, and do you want my car to borrow for a couple? of They're days? literally running the <laughs> fountains. You, like your your thing of what you just said, like the tuition increasing. I feel like that goes back to, like, the the dollar is losing its value. Yeah. Fully. Oh, yeah. Fully. Yeah. Like, I'm at the point now, personally, where I, I'm, not, I'm not even trusting banks anymore. Like, mm. Mm. I'm trying to take money out of the bank and put it into something. Invest it. Honestly, because, like you said, yeah, they're increasing tuition, and I've been hearing that when you keep your money in that bank – to then put it into college or wherever, every year it's it's going down. Yeah. Like the interest rate's going further down. It's crazy. Because at the end of the day, people are willing to pay for what they want. Like we all complain that like, okay, tuition's expensive, this is expensive. But at the end of the day, if we really want here. it, we're willing to pay. You're still all, here. We all came back. So it means that we all wanted to be here. So then High Point sees that. And every year, more people come because they see how great and extraordinary Little do they the know university is. Little do they know it's going to happen to their family. No, it's and, North Korea. and the fines <laughs> that are going to be thrown exactly. at them every week. And college Pardon. is a business, and the thing is, they're slick yeah. about it when you tour. But then, and it's not just a high point thing; it's a college oh, thing. Like yeah. every college does it. Yeah. Um, do you believe that business. everyone is a business in themselves? It, what do you mean? No, uh, I kind of get what you're saying. Like, I guess, like, everyone has their own motives. Like, I, like, everyone's everything I do is, like, at the oh, end yeah. of the day is for my own motives. And like technically, everyone has their own empire. Business, empire, you name it. Yeah. And you try. I just read, I fit, literally, this morning. So happy I finished the book. Very nice. Yes. What book? Uh, Build Your Empire okay. by Elena Cardona. And she was saying, every single person, every relationship, yeah. every business is an empire. And you're either destroying it or you're building it. Mm-hmm. Whether it's your friend. What, whoever. And the only way for it to be killed entirely is for the people inside it to come in and to destroy it. Those mm-hmm. things that are coming from outside of your empire hitting you, you have the people inside to protect you. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, again, them saying, focus on the things that are battery chargers that are going to help you and get rid of everything that's going to drain you and that's going to mess you up in life. Your net worth is your network. And also, um, I guess you can say, like, High Point would... You know how they have all those alcohol checks and paraphernalia? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's solely to get money. Dude. They don't care. If you get caught with alcohol or drugs, you're not kicked out of the school. Dude, yeah. You just get a yeah. fine, and that's a fact. I know so many kids that came back, they got caught with pounds of weed, alcohol everywhere, 
They just got a five thousand dollar fine. They're not. They're still in the school. Yeah. Mm. Like what? Yeah, I mean, and and they don't even care about the many times or the offenses you did. Like you no, could, because you they do know that students you have money to pay. Yeah, bro. <laughs> did you see the cops last night? The security. They drove around the Greek, Greek. Uh, They're praying. Greek life. Maybe they get bonuses if they get a certain amount of people. Interesting. Incentives. Mm-hmm. That goes back to incentives. I think Nito has a little something up his sleeve like that. Like if you, I, you I catch agree. a certain, if you f- they make people like find alcohol. Like if I feel like they Nito you know, something. Nito Nito might seem very fragile, at least to myself. But he's he's got tricks. Up his sleeve. He's a business. He's got, he's like, got plans. It's, no, it's not is. personal. It's business kind of mentality. That's facts. But it's so personal. Because you have to be businessman to run a college because college is business. So look what he, he's been doing. He's yeah. transformed the entire school. He yeah. already like especially with the map that I was telling you guys. Like he already knows. He already has a plan. Has he bought the land? No, but he knows he's gonna get it. Yeah. You see all the lights <laughs> across campus, like all on the stairs. Beautiful. Like that just makes the school look ten times better. You see uh-huh. all those like lights. He knows how to increase the property value hundred yeah. percent. It looks easily. so like. Modern and amazing. Like my girlfriend's here. She's visiting. She's like, I think the lights and everything and the designs are everything. Like that makes yeah. it yeah. look better. It's oh. to entice you, you know, like the pictures they put on Instagram. Makes you like feel everything. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. of the lake with yeah. everything that they just yeah. built. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I saw that and I'm like, like what? But like you, cool. <laughs> you, yeah. you, my man. Like, uh, no joke. I would mm. love to put a list of like things. That we want to know about Nito, and then actually have him on and just like answer, nice, 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 and then at the end just like boom, 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 boom. Yeah, <laughs> his security guard comes out. Okay, you need you need to cut this out right now, <laughs> right now. Yeah. Now you have to put that shit on live, dude. Bro, oh, I want true. the true answers <laughs> the of true. Nito. I want his reactions. Everything. <laughs> Yo, Nita, how many girls have you gotten with when you were younger? Like, <laughs> That's what you want to know. That's what you want to know. Hey, Nita, know. we, Nita, we, we feel like you have a pretty, pretty good <laughs> past. We're, we're, we wanted to know, how, how was it when you were young? Person. Like, Nita you definitely gets it. Did you join a fraternity? <laughs> how was the, uh, how, how was it with the ladies, you know? Was you there know, a lot of nights? Where is he from? He's from, I think he's from, he was from Iraq. Pack it. Some somewhere oh, in the middle. Like, no, no, outer, outer no. Space. I heard that too. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's from like Mars. <laughs> he's like, he guess always takes off like his. Yeah, yeah, he's fucking alien. No, is it like is it South Africa? <laughs> I feel like it is. Or no, is yeah, he's he, no. He he take I, over the world. He's like an immigrant, right? He came here from yeah, somewhere he, else. Yeah, yeah. He, Iraq. Earned, he earned. I said. He has. Oh, indeed. Was he like he literally sucks. like broke? Yeah. No, he was. He was. He was dirt poor. In, yeah, he was really broke. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah, I've read one of his uh, <laughs> things. Where is he from? I don't even know. What and he is. went to High Point College? No, it used to be a college when it first started, and it became a university. I don't remember how Imagine many Imagine going to a college and then well, well, coming back. <laughs> yeah, literally. Well, I'm gonna run I didn't know he went there. here. Literally. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. You I wonder if it was before yeah. Nito, like, it must have sucked when did compared he became, to him. When did he become the president? Well, he just he signed something. I'm pretty sure last year or something for ten more years. Extending he has like himself. Hundred fifty thousand dollar car. He's like he's, a he's, yeah, dude. Oh, <laughs> he has a book. Okay, now we're. Like, think thirty five, forty million. Oh my goodness gracious! Interesting. Hold on. Dude, he definitely has more money than that. I feel like didn't oh, he yeah, make the 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 whole like. Arena himself, or didn't he put like a lot of his own money into that? His net worth is never accurate. Yeah, I was gonna say he definitely has it's more really than higher. that. Dude, to go to his events, How do they know his actual net worth. That's fat. Like, if you look at his event tickets, like when he doesn't speak at High Point, people <laughs> are paying like like grands of money. Yeah, to go they to are. This. I forgot uh, that he's like Ed a professional Millet. speaker, um, isn't he? He is. You want to hear? Mm, you're gonna. That's no, he's, his. He's that, definitely more than that. That's his. No, that's his. All building. I know is I have not seen students obsessed with their three hundred million like high point students. It's this is wrong. Insane. He he made a live video. He looked up his net worth, and he in the middle of the video, Grant goes, "Yeah, yeah, I love when things are on uh online, like saying it's hundred percent fake." <sighs> you know what? What I mean? a homie, dude. <laughs> dude, <laughs> that guy's a real one. He made me lose a. F- Famous, famous singer. Ariana Grande. <laughs> True. <Yeah. laughs> 180 million. 
What was Ariana the, Grande. What was the other person that you looked up? Tony Robbins. Look up Billy Joel. Billy Joel probably has a ton Dude. of money. Did you guys ever see the uh, th- Forbes came out with like a new uh, richest uh, people of the world um, count the other day? It's been a while, but it's pretty pretty interesting. I want to know Beyonce is Zach. Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. Billy Joel is, I think, two hundred twenty five million. I'm not surprised. It makes sense. Beyond who'd you say? Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, I'm on I have thing. to leave. I, I got Brandon's to out. as well, Zach. Yeah, 440 million. Five, oh my gosh. Beyonce. Yeah. No, I knew it was high. Who was the other one that you said? Uh, I forget. Beyonce and... Oh, um... Jay-Z, he's a billionaire. Are you serious? Beyonce's yeah, definitely higher. He took his money right? and he made more. He's a billionaire. <gasps> $1.4 billion. Oh my gosh. He took his money and he made like a drink. Plus oh, yeah. With he invested in, uh, yeah, I forget. He invested in, smart like, uh, I think the NBA or something, right? Goodness. Yeah. Well, Kanye West, he's smart. Um, Hold on. He's like oh, my God. Crazy stuff. <laughs> $850 million. Hold on. Kobe. He's uh, dead. I definitely spelled that wrong. Six hundred. Well, he was worth $600 <laughs> million. Wait, who does the money go to? Because it's Get done. Wife? No, Chris I'm gets so him done. Chris gets him done. Wife's alive, and I think one or two more daughters still alive. Yeah. Kim and Gigi. I watched a video of the of the plane. The guy thought he was going like this. You mean the helicopter? Yeah. The guy <laughs> thought he was going like this. Bro, the helicopter was like diving. Crazy. Ah. So oh. Crazy stuff. Ben is waking up one day and the whole entire family. <laughs> Dude, it's I actually don't terrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually almost shed a tear. <laughs> like, holy shit. Oh my god. Guys, thanks for watching. This is the perspective show, not podcast. Perspective show. Good talk. We'll see you guys later. Wait, this is on camera? Much love. Peace. Yeah. I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs>